it was good. I wanted to see someone, you know, a woman, you know, a girl, something, you know, mystical, you know, beautiful in a way. You know, all women are beautiful. But eating this other beautiful thing, this donut. And, you know, I think she did that really well. She, uh, you know, never told me that what I said was a bad idea, which I love in people. Let me tell you what. Because, uh, I mean, you know what I know? I'm smart, so. Dude, I mean, I kind of told her just kind of my general concept of how I wanted her to really just kind of consume a donut. That's, that's literally what I said to her. I said, hey, could you uh, cons consume this donut? And she said, well, you know, how fast, you know? Well, normally they, oh, it's, oh, it's Brenna from Brenna Eats a Donut. And we say hi, and they, they won't ask me questions, but I really, I don't have time. Have someone per reach perfection at this point and with such simple means was, was amazing. I think what makes working on Brenna Eats a Donut uh, such a rewarding experience was the simplicity of it, but also the, the challenge, you know. We turned it out and I mean, you've seen the results. I thought it was inspiring, just simply breathtaking. I would... That was amazing. That was so much better than Gorn Key. I've got to tell someone. I have to go get a donut. That was amazing. I mean, I was I was sitting here selling concessions, and there was these huge crowds going into it, and so I snuck in, and it. It changed my life like I've never seen anything. I'm sorry, it was just, it's really, really good. And this is the kind of thing that, um, you know, here at the Carson School, we try to bring out of the students. Unfortunately, I'd say about 85 to 90% of the time, we don't succeed. But when we do, we get something like this. I think that everyone can relate, you know? I feel like a lot of people out there have eaten donuts, so it's just something that, that hits close to home. Look, I understand the irony is mentioned the next person, but we need a strip club for Passion of the Christ 2. It's the only way that... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Brenda Eats a Donut was a hard movie to lock down locations for. We finally found the basement of this uh, pretty well-established theater building, and it's just... The walls just reverberate with donut energy. If you know what I mean, it's just like perfect light and everything, so. Oh well, when uh, Cale Thomas Yates came up to me about the overall look of the film that he wanted to establish, he actually just handed me a box of wheat thins and said, this is, this is our look. And you know, you know someone who was fun was our stunt coordinator, Savannah Kurtz. Yeah. You know, old Kurtzy, as I called her. <laughs> She really had some great ideas for how to, uh, you know, really get in there and make it look like it's a good, it's a good, you know, good donut. For Brenna Eats a Donut, we had a very strict fight schedule every day. We started the day off with a lot of stretching of the esophagus because Miss Brenna Hill was not, how do I put this, familiar with round objects in her mouth. Um. But you know, that's okay because that brand is just a peach. Yeah, people credit me as the, uh, as the DP, the BFG, but uh, I wasn't necessary to the making of Brennan's Donut. I put the camera down and I let it run. You know, it's just distilled realism right there. It's uh, just the lens, the Brenna, and Brenna's Donut. And it was, uh, it can't be beat, and uh, it can't be redone. It uh, really puts into perspective the uh, just how unnecessary I am as a filmmaker, you know. So, um, what did you think of the production of Bread Eats a Donut? Did you even read the book? N what? No. What? Did you even? No. No. Wait. What's the book about? The book, the book is called Gon Donut. Donut. Yeah. And it's about... Have you ever seen Homeward Bound? Yeah. It's basically that. But the donut work, obviously. I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn over here, but uh, the donut work was just fantastic. And obviously Brenna, uh, you know, god damn it, she was a bitch to work with. But 
you know, you can't argue with results. You can't argue with those juices flowing. I have a very specific method with my donuts. I'd like to think I put a little bit of myself in every donut. I found, um, I found a great producer, someone who really was right behind the idea the moment I said, I want to see some woman eating a donut. They, I mean, they almost finished my sentence, let me tell you what. Uh, and that was, that, was, that was Megan Kraft. She's a bad bitch. She gets shit done. That's what you need out of a producer. I got shit done. I don't fuck around. But um, unfortunately, she was not the only producer we could have. We needed another. Yes, sadly, we needed another. And we lucked out in finding that in Emma Gruel. Emma Gruel. That talentless hack. Well, that Emma Gruel. I don't normally like to curse in public, but she is a bitch. Fuck! 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 She was very hard to work with. She had such high expectations and demands. It's too much money, she said. It was, uh, stupid. It's another thing. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Emma Gruel. What are the thoughts you have about the film? Donut. What are you doing? Donut contracts you were. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of an interview? No, no, donut. take these back. But you No! Nope. Take them back. Sorry about that. To be honest, one of the worst pieces that I've ever produced, and uh, it was terrible working with everyone on set. They were completely unprofessional and unprepared for the shoot every day. So I was surprised by how well critics liked it because I thought that it was shit. And <laughs> it just begs the question on why you decided to make the subsequent films, Lauren Eat Some Pretzels. Lauren Eat Some Pretzels, take six. <laughs> and Will noshes on some prunes. Go for it. Will noshes on prunes. Take 18. Actually, those were preambles, if you will, to Brenna Eats a Donut. Um, so those were what we tried first, and <laughs> if you think that Brenna Eats a Donut is shit, those were even more. We nixed those right away, and we had to go with Brenna Eats a Donut, and after about three tries of taming this movie, I decided that what we had was what we had. Hi, I'm Paul Steger. I'm the director of the Johnny Carson School of Theater and Film. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Brenna Eats a Donut. I think that this film represents the very best of what we have to offer here at the school. Um, I mean, we're thrilled. This is exactly what the Carson School should be doing. Uh, I think it uh, exemplifies the best that we have to offer in all areas. Of that acting technique is stellar. I mean, just the depth of character and the focus of the action. So I think I'm going to look at now another Another beautiful thing I love is a good chocolate cake. Maybe find a, a man to eat that. Now, personally, I don't really find men as beautiful as women, but I mean, there's some people. I might have to, you know, get an assistant director. I don't know who that would be. I'm open casting call, you know, or, you know, director call, whatever it's called. Brenna eats a breakfast sandwich. Sounds appealing. <laughs> but if you'd like to hear me say more, feel free to pick up my autobiography. Uh, there's more than one way to glaze a donut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>